Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be talking about a new AI company that's just come up and I'm a little bit skeptical. The product that they're advertising seems interesting on paper, but is it going to be good in practice? I don't know. Let's talk about it today. So this is an article from Engadget. Halliday promises its smart wayfarers have a proactive AI assistant inside. I'm going to be covering what that means in a little bit, but Basically, the article starts off with smart glasses are traditionally long on promise and short on delivery. Yeah, that's kind of true with a lot of these smart wearables. For example, there's many people who've tried putting AI in some kind of smart wearable or smart gadget you carry around with besides your phone. For example, uh, there's the Rabbit R1 that never... That never really got all that popular. You, and there's the Humane AI pin. That never really got popular either. There's a lot of people who criticized it. There was a lot of features that were missing. There's a lot of features that are still missing on those products. And it's, it's one of those things that the market doesn't seem to be big on. And speaking of smart wearables, it's a little bit obligatory that I bring this up. The Google Glass. The Google Glass was a thing in... Uh, 2013 and basically it was this thing Google made where it was these little not really glasses but this little lens that you wore and it had um it ran Android basically and you can go ahead you could use it to get like Google Maps and Google Assistant and all of that fun stuff and it was just kind of mocked no but nobody really liked it um, to be honest and it was discontinued pretty soon thereafter um it was it was discontinued two years after it was released after uh, a extremely small amount of sales so it's it's just it's it's not something that's all that popular at least it doesn't seem to be but let's see what these guys have to offer maybe they have something to it so, Halliday turned up at CES 2025 in Las Vegas. Mind you, as far as I'm aware and as far as I can find, this is a fairly new company with a pair of smart glasses, quote, filled to the brim with technology. Now, the little display on it is a waveguide display in the right eye cup that will project the equivalent of a 25-inch screen into the wearer's view. So you have the actual lenses and then up top here is the little... Uh, little tiny screen. Apparently, the display is easy to read in strong light, and the company promises the hardware is invisible to onlookers. Which, yeah, possibly. I mean, it, it does seem to be fairly, like, lightweight. It seems to be fairly a, a compact design. The company adds the glasses weigh just 35 grams and promise an 8 hours of battery life on a single charge. Uh, there's no camera on it, which there has been some uh, smart uh, glasses kind of products that include cameras on them. That seems to be a popular thing. This one does not have a camera, but apparently Halliday says its product comes with a proactive AI assistant. Anticipating your needs before you ask, the glasses have a built-in microphones that are listening to your conversations, analyzing them, and answering prompts as they come up. If you were to wear one of these in a meeting, say you'd be able to ask the system to produce a summary of said meeting immediately afterward. And, yeah, that has some privacy concerns to a, a certain degree, for sure. I mean, maybe, and even then, even then, it's entirely possible that it just might not be all that good on delivery. Like, the promise might not be fully fulfilled, as some of these AI gadgets, as of late, have kind of had a track record of like the Rabbit R1 and a Humane AI pin, they've never really followed through on their promises all that much. They've kind of just been, eh. They've, they, they're they like a little okay, but not great. So some of this functionality they're advertising might not actually be what customers get. Now, maybe I'm wrong. All of this could be good. I don't know. We're just going to have to see because the track record doesn't look too nice. And apparently, as well, the sides of the glasses are touch sensitive, but it's more likely your main mode of interaction will be with a bundled trackpad ring. This is an interesting design choice. Um, the idea is that you're able to discreetly control what the 
glasses show to you without like attracting attention by touching your glasses or like touching out in the wider field of view or anything like that you just have a little ring that you wear and you fiddle with and i mean that's fine people fiddle with rings all the time so it's like it's a fairly discreet mode of interaction that nobody would really consider or think twice about it's an interesting design choice i don't know if it's going to catch on i don't know if people are going to like it i don't know if it's even good but admittedly if anything else, I'm going to applaud to this. If you wanted to make a discreet method of interaction with a device, that is fairly discreet. I like that idea. It's kind of nice. So there's a fairly long list of tasks Halliday rather says the glasses will be able to do uh, as well. Basically, it'll go ahead and you know listen out for questions and conversation and throwing up answers from the internet. You can use the screen as a hidden teleprompter. It can also translate 40 different languages, offer real-time directions, and play music with the accompanying on-screen lyrics. Apparently, the company says the actual price of the product will be somewhere between uh, $399 and $499. And apparently, they're going to go ahead and start shipping before March 2025. I'm kind of curious to see how this goes, because, again, like I said, the track records of these little AI gadgets haven't been great and the track records of of like just smart glasses in general haven't been great heck apple's smart glasses product you know the um, apple vision pro hasn't been doing too well either they've as far as i'm aware and don't quote me on this because i actually don't fully know but i feel like i've heard that they've even stopped production on it because the orders are so low so they they have they have enough in stock to fulfill the orders but the actual supply and demand just isn't enough to keep getting more supply. So, yeah, even Apple's attempt at it wasn't good and hasn't been working out too well for them. So, we'll just have to see what happens. I'm kind of curious to see if these guys will break the mold, but they seem to be fairly new. But that doesn't mean they can't break the mold. I don't know. It's just interesting. I'm curious to see what happens. Thank you guys for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of the comments down below, especially because this is a very interesting thing. I'm curious to see what you guys think is going to happen to these guys. Are they going to succeed? Are they going to fail? Let me know. If you want to watch more of my videos, you can check them out right over here. Click the one you like. And uh, yeah, take care, you guys. Stay safe out there. Have a great day.